we talk about drug set and setting or the drug person in the context. That's a framework you can use to be thinking about what are the experiences that person's going to have and what might be the risks and where might you be able to intervene to, to affect those experiences and risks. So the first thing we look at is the drug. So it has everything to do with the pharmacology of the drug. Is this thing going to get your heart rate going or is it going to slow you down? How long is it going to last in your body? And that's, an, you know, if you think of cocaine, people do a line of cocaine and half an hour later they're doing another line of cocaine because it has a very short duration of action. Crystal meth has a very long duration of action. It's like 12 hours, so it's gonna be in your body for a long time. That's, so that's a distinguishing factor, you know, that's something that's different between coke and, and meth. And these are the things you need to know about what's unique about different drugs. There's also things like the price of the drug. Some drugs are more costly than others, some are cheaper than others, and, and that might be an incentive to use one versus another. There's the legal status of the drug too, right? So some drugs are legal and others are not, and, and that might be a reason why you choose to use or not. Then there's the person that's using it, and two different people could use exactly the same drug and have a completely different experience. It's the same pharmacology, it's having the same effect in the body, uh, but they have a different experience because they're using it for different reasons. Maybe one person is twice the size of another, so the smaller person overdoses because they got too much of it in the body. Uh, so there's lots of things to think about why the person's using their mental health, their housing status. These are all things that can influence using the drug and the experience and the risk. And then there's the context in which you're doing it all. And you could be the same person taking the same drug in two completely different environments, but have a very different experience. And an obvious example of that is uh, supervised injection sites, where we're taking people who are, it's the same person using the same drug, but rather than shooting up in an alleyway where there's dirty puddle water and they're concerned about the police in the alleyway, we take that same person, that same drug, and we put them in a, 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 a healthy environment where they're not at risk of anything and there's people that can respond to them if they overdose. We haven't done anything about the drug or the person, we've just changed the context and now the risks and the experience have completely changed.